Will being monolingual or only knowing one language negatively impact your ability to construct a language? Just like everything else, that depends. Um, first of all, again, it depends on what your goal for the language is. Do you want it to emulate the language that you already know? Because if so, then your lack of language, like foreign language knowledge, is not going to be much of a hindrance. Um, do you want it to sound different than English? If that's the case, then, it, you know, that might slow you down a little bit if you don't know anything, if you don't know any linguistics or other languages or anything. Um, but let's just assume that you're monolingual and you know no linguistics and you know no other languages and you want to make a language. So how would you do that? Because you've been speaking English, let's assume it's English because, I mean, that's what we're speaking. Um, because you've sp spoken your first language for your entire life, a lot of it is <clears throat> quite intuitive at this point because, I mean, it's been a lot of years. You know it to a good depth, even if you don't know the technicalities. I mean, you speak it every day, and chances are you speak it to a pretty, a pretty good level. So what you would have to do in that case is you'd have to sit down and say something. And then when you say it, you have to look at what is said and how it's said, and then go, how did I say this? why did I say it this way? And then, why didn't I say it this way? And if I said it this way, would it still make sense? And so that's, that's how you start thinking about how you want your language to be, if you're, well, I mean, that's one way. Um, and if you decide you want it to, to be the same grammar system and the same sentence structure as English, then, I mean, go for it. You just need some new words, I guess. But if you want it to be more complicated than, and you don't have any knowledge, is that going to slow you down? It'll slow you down. Will it hurt you? Um, a little bit, maybe. It definitely won't stop. It shouldn't stop you. Don't let it stop you. And really, you can just Google everything. <laughs> Whenever I had a question, I have language, a basis of language knowledge. Um, I did languages and linguistics in university because I'm a nerd. And... And really, even with that, I'm still looking things up all the time. Linguistics terms? Don't even ask me what the terms are. I mean, I know some of them, but I should know way more. I should know way more. Um, and at some point, like, I know that I know what it is intuitively. I just don't, I never connect, I never seem to connect the words with, with the, what's happening. And so I learned, I learned terms like five times in university, <laughs> maybe more, probably a lot more. And then since then, since I've been making this language, a hell of a lot more than that. And I still can't remember half of them. And that doesn't, I don't care. That's the problem. It's not that I can't learn them. It's that I just, I don't give a crap until I start talking to somebody who knows linguistics or who's constructing a language and knows linguistics. Mm. And then I'm just like, let's go our separate ways. And it's, I mean, it's, I think it should be embarrassing. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about it. Um, because I just want to construct the language. I'm, I am no linguist really. Anyways. I digress. So if you don't have that knowledge, go Google it. I've had to Google so many different things. Um, if you want your sentence structure to be different, just go look up what is the sentence structure of Norwegian or some other random language. And it's really easy to just find like simple and short explanations. And you can even, they'll even have a lot of the time linguistics terms associated with that. So will you have to learn? Um, likely, if you're at all serious about this. But that doesn't mean you can't learn in little chunks, little chunks here and there, like bite-sized. Um, so will it slow you down? It'll slow you down for sure, but not necessarily for long. It's, it's a learning curve, right? So I say so a lot. <laughs> if you want to construct a language, don't let anything deter you. Just, just go and then learn as you go. And you're going to learn lessons and it's going to be slow going to begin with because that's how you learn. So go forth and construct your language. Um, that's all there is to it, really. Uh, you should like this video because I like this video and you should subscribe because I can't subscribe to my own video, which I find stupid. Um, please see you next time.